how much intelligence is Geordie Barrett going to gather at Leicester, oh. where they're coached by <laughs> Neen, they're coached by Neen Albert, who so he's going to understand a bit of the sort of residual South African approach to everything, and he's going to find he's going to find out everything he knows about Ireland because he's effectively playing for Ireland. Uh, well, you're not you're not going to change. So the players coming back, you're not going to change the things that you do. South Africa have not changed the way that they've played off the back of it, but you have an understanding of what teams are trying to do, yeah. and you and like even you might come across something that might tweak your game by one two percent, but at test level, that's that's the difference, isn't it? Yeah. South Africa won one point in the quarters, one yeah, point in yeah, the yeah. derby, one point in the final, and win a World Cup. Um, so that's the difference for me. Chewie, how did you react to that news when you saw it? I mean, Jordan, um, Jordy Barrett is Chewie's favourite person by <laughs> a country well, mark. How did you react? I don't know him personally, but I think I think he's I think if you were creating a 12, which is a such a difficult position to fill, but if you were creating a 12 in a laboratory somewhere, but also wanted the the human mind, you come up with Jordy. He can kick, pass tackle, read a game, manage a game. He's got the size of getting through the traffic. He's a goal kicker. I mean, Jesus, what else do you want? Best since Tim, best since Tim Horan, in my view. Drew, that's great, but none of it answered my question. What was that? <laughs> <laughs> what was that? I, I t- I, I, sorry, how I tend, do, to, fade out. I tend to fade out when you're talking, Oliver. Sorry, what was that? Again? <laughs> no, that's very fair. How, do you, how did you react when you saw the news? Um... My first thought was the person who's um, and don't nip me ideas because this is another piece for the weekend. My first thought was that the <laughs> bloke who's laughing all the way to the bank is Scott Robertson because he, as we've just discussed, he's going to come back with a bag of ideas, yeah. a bag of knowledge. But presumably, well, it's already clear he's not being particularly well received across all of Ireland. Well, we, we've we've established on this podcast, haven't we, that any any Irish rugby figure on this podcast who doesn't come from Leinster or is not associated <laughs> with Leinster bloody well hates Leinster because yeah. they got especially especially the Ulster boys. I mean, we haven't had anyone from Munster wrong yet because because they'll swear too much. But the thing is, um, um, Le- Leinster are all powerful in Ireland, all powerful. Um, Right from right from age group rugby and schools rugby upwards, they're effectively Ireland in in a different kit, and now they've got one of the world's premium players, swanning over for the for the business end of the season, where their chances of hoovering up Champions Cup and URC will only be improved. They're already strong, but now they'll be almost undeniable. If if yeah. Barrett stays fit and plays the form, they'll 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 win plenty, won't they?